we're gonna start back here you can hear there's a fan running back here no idea what that is but what this video is is I'm gonna see what it does when you attempt to start it while the oh, it says installing So when you push the start button while it's installing it wouldn't start well now it said vehicle is ready but we have uh, some flashing stuff here I felt something in the brake pedal Got some various sounds going on. Let me close the door. Let's try to push the button again. It doesn't do anything at all. So it really does lock you out when it's in the middle of the update. And it's interesting that it was going to 3.2.0 because that's like the old update. I just got 3.3.0 in my rover. Let's try opening it, closing it. Uh, press, it says very dimly, press brake when starting. But, I'm not getting anything. open. Let's go ahead and lock it. And then unlock it. I saw that press brake when starting message again. Right, let's try this. That was interesting. It sounded like it misfired. But at that time, it actually started. However, we have a dim screen. Close this to get rid of the, the bangs. We have a dim screen, now a blank screen. Not really doing anything. Does it let me put it into gear, I wonder? It does let me put it into gear. And back into park. Now we have a Jag logo. It does say good evening now. All right, let's go see what it says under the software menu if it'll let me in there. Oops, I hit the wrong one. I want to go to all. It's very like sticky, laggy. Software update. So it's not saying anything about. Oh, here we go. Last install. Vehicle is up to up to date. So it does kind of lock you out of the car when it is updating software. But. After several attempts, it did let me start the car.